stepping forward is author and activist Jaleesa Arce. Jaleesa, so nice to see you. <laughs> Thanks for coming into the program. You. Um, you know, I think it showed last night that there is this, uh, this big question within the Democratic Party. Do we want giant sweeping change or just a return to normalcy mm -hmm. after the Trump administration? What stood out to you and who broke out do you think yeah. last night? I don't think anybody who wasn't already a front runner had necessarily a breakout moment, uh, but there were some standout stand-up moments. Uh, Beto O'Rourke uh, talking about taking your AR, saying your AK-47s and talking about gun control, I think was a stand-up moment and probably Beto's uh, best debate was last night because he was so passionate about it. He needed that moment too. Absolutely. He needed that moment. He talked about it with a lot of passion, a lot of heart, and he got a lot of praise from his fellow candidates on how he handled the El Paso shooting and how he's really taken gun reform uh, as, as one of his main priorities in this in in this debate so that was one really big stand-up moment for me um, the what other about one in Castro he took a big risk on yeah. trying to point out the age you know uh, differential was it a, what is it a you know a, a, the wrong thing to do yeah you know I think I think that because the debate was so tempered uh, I think a lot of people are trying to make a bigger deal uh, than it really was. Huh. To me, I think uh, we've seen uh, Joe Biden is a front runner, and therefore he's going to continue to be the target in these debates. Uh, we saw it with Kamala Harris when she came after after Joe Biden, and we've seen other people come out. But look after what happened him. to her. She was really, you know, surging ahead, and all of a sudden, after that last debate, she took a real fall in in the polls. And you know, last night, you, just by reading just the crowd, forget the analysis, the morning after the crowd in the room they really like booed you know when Julian Castro went after him they thought it was a low blow that's tough for the Democrats right now because all the candidates want to stand out and yet what's the strategy uh, Julissa you know is it do they take a risk trying to go for the you know the, the jugular? jugular yeah yeah um, you know, instead I, of sticking to policy yeah I, I think it's I mean I do think that it's important to highlight the differences in policy and I think that that's what Julian Castro was trying to do he was trying to say my health care plan is different than your health care plan how he went about it, about it uh, seemed to upset some people uh, but for example when he talked about the immigration differences between him and Biden and how Biden has really stood on uh, Obama's policies uh, and Julian Castro has said we made mistakes during that administration and I think those differences are really important to highlight. There are over 10 candidates who've already qualified for the next debate and that's uh, that's today. I mean, there could be more. We could end up with with more, right? <laughs> Qualify. Yeah. Well, Tom Steyer. Right right but here's, right. here's the problem. How how is it uh, possible to effectively talk about policy, have a conversation instead of just standing at the podium and shouting out a couple of things, and this this many dollars and this much Medicare for all, but to have an actual mm -hmm. understanding, a, a, a conversation where people can grasp the meaning of your policy? Yeah. Is that is, is it just getting harder with these many candidates? It's it's very challenging to have any real discussion about policy when you have 10 people on a debate stage and when you're trying to cover so many topics, right? Mm -hmm. There were so many really important topics that were left out last night. Yeah. We didn't talk at all about women's issues. We didn't talk about uh, voting voting rights, right? So it is it is going to be very difficult. It's been suggested by Diane Pfeiffer from Cricket Media that we should have some debates that are policy specific. Mm -hmm. uh, so like, that climate we, like climate change. Like climate change, right? Like right. one specific topic. And I think that would actually be a really smart idea Jaleesa because we could actually hear from the candidates. I well, hope yeah. you will come back as we get to, we have to, to no more time today, but do come back as we head to. toward 2020. I really love your perspective.